Welcome back to Travel to Work Week. In the last episode, you will have seen that I'm trying out three different routes into work this week. My normal route is to walk into Uxbridge, take the Metropolitan Line and a mixture of the District and Circle Lines to High Street Kensington, where I work. In the first episode, I took a bus to West Ryslip and then the Central Line to Notting Hill Gate and then the Circle Line to High Street Kensington. Now my normal journey takes roughly 1 hour 20 door to door and the route that I took in the first episode took 1 hour and 11 minutes, so a saving of 9 minutes, although it did cost me £1.75 additional charge on the bus. So today I will be taking the Piccadilly line from Uxbridge after I walk in, I'm walking in right now, and then that takes me to Earl's Court where I will pick up a Edgware Road to District Line train one stop to High Street Kensington. I wonder how long it will take me today. Right, I'm at Uxbridge Station and hopefully I'm going to get onto this train. It's leaving earlier than the one I was planning to get. The doors will beep, beep, beep. So I just want to walk along, try to get a carriage with either nobody or fewer people so as I can talk properly. So we'll see how far I can get. But as soon as it beeps, I've got to get on. Otherwise, it's a 20 minute wait until the next one. I'll try here. And on again, here we go. So we're here at Uxbridge and we will be taking the Piccadilly line all the way to Earl's Court. And that's where I change onto the district line where it's one stop to High Street Kensington. I do sometimes take this route because if there are problems with the Metropolitan Line or if there's engineering works and the Piccadilly Line is running, I use this as an alternative. I've actually used it more times coming home, I think, um, because I do work until quite late at night, sort of 10 o'clock sort of time, and there can often be problems. Uh, of course, there's problems affecting the Piccadilly Line sometimes as well. Um, so you do have to look at other options of how to get into and out home again from work. Well, this is a good time to ask you to please comment, like and subscribe to this episode if you have enjoyed it or if you've got anything to say that we could improve upon, then please do let us know. And if you would like to buy us a coffee to help us along the way, there is a link in the description.
Earl's Court. So now I just have to walk along the platform a little bit to, to get to an escalator, which will take me up to the district line. Now the Edgware Road branch, which is the one that I need to take, only runs every 10 minutes. And on the dot matrix, they only put the timings up for those trains about two minutes before it's due to arrive. And sometimes it's not that easy to sort of time it. So we will just see how long we have to wait. So it's the east bound platform and it normally comes onto platform two I think. So we're here at Earl's Court and it is one stop to High Street Kensington. Not too long a wait, just three minutes until the next Edgware Road train. And here we are at High Street Kensington. So I'm just going to exit the station and top up the total time it took me to get here today. It's okay. I know that you are all busy and haven't had time to subscribe to our channel It's Paul and Marcus on YouTube But now's the chance, hit the subscribe button It's free of charge and it will help us on our way to over a thousand subscribers So please subscribe, I'm not gonna beg, but please The total time was 1 hour and 18 minutes, so 2 minutes less than my normal journey into work, but 7 minutes longer than the central line route. So I've got one more route to try in the next episode, I'll see you then, bye!